the way I've been putting it is that we need to build a city of 4 million people. That's a bit out of date now. A city of 4.6 million people. I've sort of lost track of how many there are of us. Now, one way to do it, and, and okay, we are in Auckland, is to shift everybody to Auckland. Um, you know, I mean, I did... It was a pretty fast cab ride in this morning from the airport. It was not bad by Auckland standards, right? But we know that that's actually not a feasible solution, right? We can, we can certainly work on building productivity and infrastructure in Auckland, but ultimately we can't move everybody here, right? And so we're not going to be able to compete with Sydney, right, which, which has already solved that problem. It has uh, a population almost the same as New Zealand, and it's put those people together um, in one city. You know, how do we do it? And so I think this is where you guys come in. It's not about... Um, moving everybody to Auckland. It's about building connectivity across the country. So this is my last map. And this is, this is where we've taken all the inventors in New Zealand, and we've, we've done the same thing as we did with Nokia. We've looked at how they were connected um, and how they were collaborating. And, and, and sh you know, for sure, most of them are in Auckland, right? And there's an awful lot of collaboration going on in Auckland. But pleasingly, there are actually links that spread throughout New Zealand. And this is my challenge to you guys as an industry, right? Build us the tools um, and become the industry that connects New Zealand. Um, not just, it's not just about moving people uh, to, New Zealand, uh, to Auckland, as I've said. It's about connecting the whole country. And it's about taking advantage of the innovative capacity of the rest of New Zealand and, and connecting that to Auckland.